What is up guys? Welcome to my live reaction and review to The Promised Neverland Chapter 129 Something I Should Carry Last week, we pretty much had Emma come out and say to Norman that she does not want to kill the demons, alright? She doesn't want to do it, and she's got an idea on how to make this plan work. Also, she, her and Ray have gone off to go into the Seven Walls to meet with the, basically the granddaddy of all demons and to try and reforge a promise. A brand new promise where children, the cattle children, are not on the menu. Also, Norman has said to, said to her, look, I'm not stopping, I'm not delaying or anything with my plan. My plan is going to carry out as per normal. You can go do that, but if you come back too late, too sad, too bad. If you get back before anything happens, then we can reanalyze. The question is going to be, are they going to get back in time? But anyway guys, let's get straight into this week's chapter. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go, let's go. Because that, recalling that day, his friends' voices are so distant now, okay? Doesn't matter what you tell me, I've already made up my mind. I can't afford to make any mistakes. I won't let anybody else die. The flashbacks. Norman. So these are all flashbacks. Ray. Emma. I'm... Move on to the next page. Every day, their lives were steeped in blood. Okay? Chapter 129, something I should carry. So basically it looks like they were doing experiments on these guys. So we've got Zazi and Norman, they're heading down some steps. Your boss, I was looking for you guys. So we got Vince and the other two. Okay, so they got a demon down here? I'm assuming it's dead. That's the only thing I can think of. It's seemingly it's dead. So the question is, why is it there? It's been a while since I've come here. I come here quite a bit myself. It always manages to calm me down. Okay, so obviously these two are a little bit psycho. What did they want to talk about? So they're talking about uh, what Emma and Ray wanted to talk to Norman. Various things. Okay, so he's being kind of blasé about it. Them not wanting to let the demons go extinct being one of them. Them not wanting to let the demons go extinct being one of them. So, they really... So what happens now, boss? Don't be impatient. There'll be no change to the plan. And also, the evil blood maiden is alive. Isn't that bad? I've thought a bit about this. Leave it to me. Okay. So Norman's got an idea for that. It seems that she's friends with Emma and her acquaintances. Huh? Friends with that cursed blood? These could either be very good or very bad circumstances. Now that's Vince. So that's why, huh? Because she really doesn't want to kill the demons. Why? Friends of, de friends of the demons? Just what the hell is that? So she's getting all irritable and she's getting super cranky. Demons aren't like that. There's just no way, right? So she's having her flashback and all the stuff she's gone through. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, it's here. My head, it's splitting open. Barbara, yeah. she's having it. She's having the usual spasms. Damn it. The intervals between them have been getting less and less within the last few days. Not just her, but for all of us. Okay. Where's the medicine? It's in my room. Ah. Okay. So it looks like they're all on medication. I have something in reserve. Here, take it, Barbara. So it looks like it's all pills. 
I mean, our medicine needed has increased. It's not just the frequency that's getting worse, but the symptoms too. We very well could have very little time left. See, this is what demons are. We're just livestock to them. It's only natural. This is what demons are to us cattle. Damn it. Alright, so it looks like there's more going on here with Barbara, Vince, Norm and all that. If only, if only demons didn't exist. Hey boss, when you were, when you were gonna, when you were gone, we talked with Emma and Ray. They're nice kids, but that sweet talk they spewed out disgusted me. They're nice people, they, they really are, but even so. You're on our side, right boss? Okay. You're the boss, aren't you? Losing your way isn't something you can do, right? So they, they're questioning Norman, like, are you still on our side? Are you still going with the plan? So everyone's looking at him. We've come this far, of course. There's nothing. Of course there's no stopping now. So we can see there's a lot of jars here. Of just demon heads. And intestines and everything. Alright. So it looks like they're doing a lot of different research into the actual demons as well. February 2047. Looks like we're going to a flashback. This is it. And Barda's research data. This isn't enough. But it does have records of most of us cattle. Depending on what demons eat, how do they mutate? How they regenerate and degenerate? And how they die. Okay. So it looks like that. This is back when they rebelled. Okay. We really don't have enough data on you demons. Okay. So it looks like that's how they basically got everything. They killed all the demons that were there uh, doing the experiments and just basically chopped them up for research. Okay. I haven't lost my way. Everything from the beginning, I decided to do this alone. All this is something that I should carry alone. Emma and Ray are kind, but kindness won't bring victory in this world. In reality, if I didn't choose to get shipped out, all of us wouldn't have been able to escape. I have no regrets. Okay. I want to save them. Emma, Silo... And all the rest of our comrades. For that reason, he is alone on the path to atonement. I'll gladly become a god or a devil if I have to, Emma. And I love that picture, man. You got a picture of Norman with the wing and then the other half is like skeleton like death. Man, that is an amazing picture. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the chapter, I believe. Yes, it is. That's the end of the chapter. Excuse me. Anyway, guys, just hang on a second and we'll jump straight into the review. Alright, guys, so chapter 129, something I should carry. Pretty much this chapter is basically moving on from a Norman, goes down to the, like seemingly a bunker, and we see there's this big, giant demon. It's got a couple of spears in it. It's obviously dead. But the question is, what's actually going on? Why has it been there for so long? Why is it there? And from what we've seen with Barbara, Vince, and I don't quite, I think it's Doug for the last guy. I'm not sure. I could be wrong with that name. Um, but I know Barbara and Vince are the other two. Uh, what they've done is they've got its testing thing. I think that body's there just for them to test and all that kind of jazz. We also see that they've got a ton of jars of just heads, intestines, you know, all this kind of stuff. All this crazy stuff. And we also find out that Norman tells them that the evil blood maiden or Musica is still alive, which obviously freaks them out. And Vince says, this could either be a very good coincidence or a very bad one. 
depending on what the overall plan is. We also find uh, find out that Barbara, Vincent, and uh, guy up also potentially Norman are having a lot of issues due to the experimentation that they went through at Lombarda. So they're all on seemingly on medication, and this is allowing this is trying to stop them from having you know, mental breakdown, so to speak. Because we see Barbara has a, a breakdown, and from what we've been told, things are just getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And what led up to this is that Norman reveals that Emma and Ray don't want to kill all the demons. If anything, they want to work with the demons and create a brand new world. Which obviously sets Barbara off. Because she went through a lot of nasty stuff. But the biggest thing is, they do question Norman. And say to him, hey, you're still outside, right? You're still the boss, right? They're very much questioning him and saying to him, what's going on here? Like, are you siding with them or are you siding with us? Like, we need to know. And Norman pretty much blatantly says, look, the plan hasn't changed. I don't care if I need to be a god or a devil, I will do what I need to do. I purposely shit myself out so I could save everybody. And this is something only I can do. He's also going to deal with Musica and Sonju as well. There's a lot, there's a lot of things that are going down. So, the question is going to be is, if Emma and Ray do manage to get to the Seven Walls, get in there, reforge a new promise and everything, and get back in time, will Norman change things up? At this point, I do not see Norman actually changing anything. Purposely, honestly, I don't see it happening. Just because the way Norman is at the moment, Norman is very, very, very different to the normal we started to see. We knew Norman had a, a cold, ruthless slide um, because we saw little, glimpse in, uh, little glimpses of it at the beginning of the series, but now this is Norman, that cold, ruthless, he's not giving a fuck guy. That is Norman, right? And he's pretty much got his mindset of what he needs to do, and that is to basically exterminate the demons Exterminate the royal family, the nobles, all that kind of stuff. That's his goal, and he'll go any way possible to get there. And I like that. It's kind of scary to see how far Norman has gone, but at the same time, it's very understandable with what they've gone through, having seen the experimentation and all that kind of stuff that they've gone through as well. But anyway, guys, overall... Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to read to you, he, he says, I want to save them. This is the last page I'm going to read reading it for you. I want to save them, Emma, Celo, and all the rest of our comrades. For that reason, I'll gladly become a god or a devil if I have to, Emma. Okay? So basically what he's saying is, like, I will do whatever it takes for me to achieve. Whether it's good, bad, or I don't care whether people are going to love me for it, hate me for it. I do not care. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my overall goal and my plan of what he wants to achieve. So it's kind of like, uh -uh, I don't care no more. I don't care what you think. I don't care what they think. I'm going to do what needs to be done, whether I like it or whether people like it or not. And I like that. But anyway, guys, overall, the art was solid. Very solid, especially that last page. That last page was beautiful. The half angel, half death kind of picture of Norman. Absolutely gorgeous. Very much awesome. All the other pictures in it, very detailed. Really, really solid. Progression, a good amount of progression explaining. Kind of giving us depth to what's going on and where Norman kind of sits. You got Emma, on one side you got Emma and Ray saying, look, we want to go this path. Now on the other side, you got Barbara, Vincent, and say, so we want to go this path because they've had two very, very different experiences. Um, so, yeah. So, overall, guys, for this chapter, I'm going to give it four stars. A very solid chapter. 
Not super hype. Not super crazy like, oh my god, what the hell? But very much revealing the, at the overall situation that Norman's in. He's got his longtime childhood friends there who are saying, we want to work with the demons. We want to do all this. And then we got Barbara and Vincent and that. We're like, <laughs> fuck the demons. We're going to wipe those fuckers out. So there's a lot of different things. And of course, the whole thing with the medical thing. And all that, there's a lot of things going on. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Do you agree with my score? All that kind of jazz. Let me know. What do you think Norman's overall plan is? Because there's got to be more than just creating Civil War. There has to be more to it. They can't, it's not just that's it. But anyway, guys, as always, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. Smash that thumbs up. It's completely and totally free. And of course, smash that subscribe button. That's completely and totally free. And help me get to that 100 subscriber mark. And as always, guys, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next live reaction and review. Peace.